Hi, it's Modest Vegan Chick. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am here with a gardening unboxing. I'm so excited. All of my garden goodies have come in, so I thought I would go ahead and do an unboxing and share with you guys some amazing little products that I have picked up on Amazon, all for the garden, and hopefully they will be very helpful for this garden year. So definitely stay tuned and I'll show you guys everything that I got. All right, so I'm gonna start with this box that's filled with a lot of little garden goodies. Let's just check out this paper here that shows everything that it comes with and what it's used for. So we have the cleaning brush, transplanting tools, bucket shovel. Well, that's pretty cool for your gravel. And then the watering bottle, tweezer, U-shaped scissors, pruning shears, and the plant repotting mat. That's what it is. And that is what I wanted the kit for, the mat. You can definitely use it outdoors with your succulents, but I got it for my house plants, for my smaller house plants. I wanted to be able to put down this little mat so that I wouldn't create a mess. So let's check out this mat. And then the corners snap together there it is. So it's not too big, not too small. I think it'll be perfect for what I want it for. And that is to repot some smaller plants. Perfect for succulents, cacti. Too cute. Okay, so then we have, I could have just done a video just on this kit. So then we have our water bottle, which makes it very easy to water your cactus or succulent and we have the brush here in case you get some soil you know on your plant okay i'll put everything in there so you can see it and then we have the little shovel here which is for adding gravel to the top of your pot perfect and then we have the transplanting tools and then we have a set of tweezers different style tweezers it says for picking up dry leaves and pests or to place mini decorations in your pot so that's pretty cool so um and i just noticed that i'm missing my u-shaped scissors number six this is a full size pair of pruning scissors so these i will use in the garden all right so that's the whole kit go ahead and take my cactus out here i don't think that's a bad deal for about 12 13 dollars not something you necessarily have to have um but i like little cute stuff like this it just makes gardening more fun all right so moving on show you guys what else i got oh check it out I found the scissors to the succulent kit. These are the U-shaped scissors. Awesome. All right, so now let's move on. So I got some labels. So these are really nice. And I got these for all of the fruit trees and any tree or shrub or even a plant that is, you know, a larger size and you really can't see the label that well, the regular labels that I have. So I got these so they would stand out. So you get 20 of these. And then I also got some more labels because I have a lot of labeling to do. And this one comes with some freebies. So this one comes with the white marker, which is perfect because you need that when you have black labels. And then it also comes with some twine. Twine is always useful in the garden. All right, so these are more of what I would call the stick type labels. Okay, so then I got a bottle of premium organic neem oil. This is the same neem oil that I used last year on some strawberries that had a weird yellow fungus uh, going on on the leaves. So I ended up treating it with some of this exact neem oil and it went away and the strawberries have been healthy ever since. And I only applied one time and that was enough 
So this is the neem oil that I use. There is another neem oil, I can't remember the brand, but it comes in a spray bottle. And I've used that all over the garden and that seems to work well. So neem oil is just pretty powerful in the garden. And then I got a pair of my favorite garden gloves. These are my second pair, absolute favorites. It's really hard to find a pair of garden gloves that are black, which is pretty much my aesthetic, that don't look manly. <laughs> so these fit the bill. They are quite lovely. And these are from Laurel Birch. So I absolutely love these. They do have a little adjustable Velcro strap here. But these fit really nice. So in this box, this is my absolute favorite part of the whole haul. But before I get to that, I want to open up this bag here. All right, so I got some new grow bags. The ones that I have, I have had for over five years. And they are just really starting to show wear, but I could still use them. They're still good, but I thought it was time for some new bags. So this pack comes with one. Wow, it has labels. It's pretty cool. Has one, two. Oh, well, look at this. We got more labels. <laughs> All these little free gifts. So it's just three. Let's see. One. Yeah, three bags. And you can tell these are really nice bags. Okay, so here are the grow bags. Quite impressed. Probably some of the best looking and well-made grow bags that I've seen. All right, so moving on from the beautiful grow bags to these little clay pots here that I got to go along with the grow bags. So I went ahead and unwrapped two of them. Look at these, these are little clay vessels here. So my goal is to use these little Mexican cups as oil pots in the grow bags. So I'm just going to fill my grow bag here with soil, right? And then of course the oil pot would be buried up to the lid in the middle of the grow bag and then filled with water. And it is going to provide water at a very slow rate, which, you know, plants sometimes get over water because they don't need as much water as you think they do. But it's going to water from the bottom whatever is growing in here. Pretty much works just how an oil pot would because this is just an unglazed clay pot. Same thing as an oil. So I'm excited to see how that works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this in the haul because it's kind of for the garden. And it's this, I've already opened it, but I decided to throw it back in the box and <laughs> share it with you guys and include it in this haul. And this is a little berry bowl here from Crate and Barrel. And it's just an adorable little berry bowl that you can keep on your table or in your refrigerator. I just love this. Kind of reminds you of, you know, the berries you would buy at the farmer's market. So when it's harvest time, you will see this little container. I will be using that to harvest all of my berries. Because <laughs> my berry production usually isn't that much because I don't have a lot of berry plants. So that should be perfect. All right, so the last item in this gardening haul are my hunter boots. I'm so excited because I was due for some new boots for the garden. You should definitely take care of your feet in the garden. Some people like to garden in sneakers, but I personally like to garden in boots. So I got a pair of these hunter, it's kind of like the ankle boots. They have the taller ones that are really popular in the garden, but I have taller boots like that and they're just too much of a fuss to put on when I'm like ready to go in the garden. So I prefer an ankle garden boot. That's what they look like. The box says size six, but that's the UK size. As you can see, US size is an eight. And I have already tried these on 
I wear a size eight and so they do fit for me true to size. Small heel, not flat. They do have a little bit of a heel, but that's okay. Don't mind that size heel. And they have a nice stretch. We'll try them on at the end of the video, so definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see how they look on. Hunter Chelsea ankle boots. All right, guys, so that is everything in this gardening unboxing. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye for now. Go ahead and try my boots on.